I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Pico Racer. Plus, up does it start. So this is a, if you haven't heard of Pico 8, it's a quote-unquote fantasy console, which is like designed to be 8-bit with a restricted palette, size limits, uh, you know, all the restrictions a console would have, except, you know, it's just a software kit. Go away, Mr. Mouse. Uh, and this just seemed... The, the, the one thing about the Pico 08 is that it seems to really be a way more of an attractive concept than like a real thing, but there's some really cool... Um, what am I trying to say here? Some cool like tech demo sorts of things. And this one is one of my favorites, so you know. This is, you know, being run... You know, this isn't a custom engine exactly. This is, you know, the Pico 08 meant to be sort of an NES competitor. Um, far better color palette, frankly, than the NES. But, um, honestly, that's one thing. Pico 08, its restrictions make sort of for better art than games, usually. Um, the palette's really well chosen, and there's lots of really cool art people have made to be, you know, Pico 08 compatible. Oop. Dead. Are, are we, are we winning? Are we weaning? Yeah, this seemed like a cute little demo of what the thing is capable of. We died. We passed 22 cars, I guess? Is this all there is to it? I guess I'm not super surprised. Yeah, I figured I would just do a show of some cool... Pico 08 stuff. I, I'm not sure it has too much potential in terms of, like, full games and stuff. It, it's neat to see some stuff like this. And this one one. Uh, I don't really understand the... some of the interface stuff going on here, to be quite honest. Like, we, we, can, hit, we can hit the soccer balls. It's a good use of dithering with that, the color. Like, I was never a huge fan of the, um, most of these style of racers, even at the time, it, it, it it's just not really a great look. Uh, I was more of a fan of the Mario Kart, you know, that looked better to me. And it wasn't really until N64 that I was even really interested in even Mario Kart itself. Like, I wasn't a big fan of the original. Um, I just wasn't good at it, and I didn't... Well, I didn't own it, for one thing. I guess, you know, like basically most Pico 08 games, it's more of a tech demo than a game, but um, it's still pretty interesting. Oh, there is a goal? There's a... I don't... So there is a way to get to the goal then, or... I... I am confused. Maybe if you play absolutely perfectly, you can get to the end? Oh well. I'll probably find some other Pico 08 games and try to, you know, do like a big, you know, fun pack of videos, I guess. What What does the soccer ball do? I don't get it. Oh well. With the Pico 08, I, don't, I think certain restrictions should be limited, like removed or something, like an optional like, expansion to make things possible. Like, I think the, the size limitation, like, you only get so many actual graphic assets, and, and it just seems a bit too limiting for a fun fantasy console sort of thing. Though, I really don't get what things do. Um, but graphically, I really enjo enjoy what the, the quote-unquote system puts out. It's just... So far, it doesn't seem to have really made for good games. You know, just tiny mini-games. Yeah, that is Pico, Car Pico Racer, actually. See, th th there's a goal, but how, how on earth? Oh, whatever. 